Hi, you're watching Professor Plays. This is my Rail World 22. So I made a new blueprint. It is in the Professor's Blueprints. It's on the website right now. It's called RoboPort Area, and that's what it is. It's a larger area. I had the columns wide before, which was just two columns. This is a bigger uh, three columns, and it's it has radar in it so that the entire area is covered under radar. Now, it is so big, let me pick it up here so you can see. It's so big, even when I'm zoomed out as far as possible, I can't see the, the whole thing. I can't even place it. Can I? Can I see the corner? Are you the top corner? That Okay, that's the top corner right there. I can see the top corner where that radar is. Um, I can't go any lower than that, though. I'm zoomed out as far as possible. So you have to do that in order to place it like that, and that will work. Or you can do it from map view. So from map view, you can, if, if you're, if you have radar or you're standing close to where the, the existing build is, you can see that in map view and you can line it up in map view. Uh, so like for example, right there, that, that square, see where my character is? That square where my character is. So that's the RoboPort and the uh, large electric pole and the radar in that corner. And so if you line that up on top of the previous one, it turns blue, purple. And then hold down shift, you can place that blueprint. And so now that blueprint is in there. So you can place it like that. That's what I've been doing. Um, because it includes RoboPorts, um, electric pulse, and radar, if you start at the base end of the of your build, it'll get filled in. Did I not put robo ports down through that? Let me go up here and see if there's robo ports blueprinted in up here. I don't remember. I've been working on this. Uh, I've been working on this other. You don't have any power. I've been working on this blueprint and and testing it. instead of building the base. <laughs> so yeah, you don't have power either. I've just been placing things in there, but haven't been checking up on them to see how the building was going. Let me uh, let me do a little housekeeping here, because all of these probably don't have any power. Yeah, there we go. Just didn't have any power. So you, you have to be able to see the map. I mean, there has to be, you have to be there or there has to be some radar so that you can see the corners. What I've been doing is just running around in here and standing so where, where I want the corner of that new print to be. Like right here, I know that's where the corner is because there's a radar there. And then go in to uh, get the blueprint, which is a uh, RoboPort area, and then go into map view and then from map view, because I'm standing there, I can see that that corner, that previous corner. Now I can place this one and line it up with that corner. So if I get those corners lined up like that, I know it's in the right place. Then I can hold on shift and I can click and I can put that in there. And then this, you can see on this corner right there is the other one, shift and click and put that in there. So that's what I've been doing. If you start, like I say, at the top where you have access to the to the um, to your base where all the parts are, then the boss will go down there and build that. Now this isn't going to line up exactly because I've already placed some stuff in there before I started using this blueprint. Um, but for future builds, this will be very nice. This will be a great way to to take um, an area, a large area, and put robot ports in it. In fact, I might the next time I, the next playthrough, I might just do this as a way to help me lay out the base. So put this RoboPort grid with, and it's got electric poles in there too, large electric poles, and then kind of build the base uh, with that in mind, with with build the base around the electric poles. Because like I said, everything now is going to be in the build area. There will be build area everywhere, and there will be radar coverage everywhere. So with, and again, for with radar coverage, you can once you get RoboPorts, you can build from space, and you can just zoom in and see everything and tell the bots to do things and they'll go do it. So that's why I wanted to make that blueprint. Again, it was called uh, RoboPort Area and it's in the it's in the professor's blueprints 
section of the website, ProfessorPlace.com, and it is up there on the website right now. I just updated it. Is that the right version number? Uh, yes, 22.9.26. That is the correct version number. I was The first one I built, the first blueprint of this I made, I had across the top a, a row of rubble ports so they were all connected and I tried using that I didn't like it I I, um, I like this one better with just the columns because you don't need a horizontal connections everywhere you only need one end you only need like if this down here that's fine that's all you need you just need a connection and these columns can be as long as you or as tall as you want and so that I think is better so that's why I say I like to use my blueprints in a game so I can see, oh, I don't like that, or I do like this. So now I think I like it uh, better. And, and the reason it is, the, the size that it is, the reason it, it is as big as it is, is because of the radar coverage. This gives me maximum coverage with the radar. So, you know, it's not too bad to place it from, from map view. Um, there are mods that you can use that will allow you to zoom out in your normal game. So that'd be another way to place it. I don't, I'm not using that mod. It, it's fine on my computer, but I can cause the game to slow down maybe. Uh, anyway, it's not necessary. I found, I just wanted to know, could you play it? Could you place that blueprint? without having mods installed in your game. Just using the generic game, and yes, you can. Just go to the map view and uh, and place it there, or, or get to more, you can see the corner of the thing and, and place it that way. So, I like it. I'm going to keep using it. So this is what the map looks like right now. I just, I've just i been experimenting with that blueprint. I really haven't been building uh, much in this uh, playthrough right now because I was in my, in my blueprint map, the map that I used to create blueprints. And uh, testing that blue, that area blueprint that I just created, so I never <laughs> I never did finish bringing in the copper plate because I've been goofing around with this uh, with this RoboPort area blueprint. So I still have copper plate out here hanging around doing nothing. Um, I don't even know what if anything's happening in the base. It says it says there's something happening, but I'm not sure there is. There's still power. Uh, mining productivity. Let's see. Is anything actually being researched? Well, there are a couple labs blinking. Yellow science is weak. And I have not... This... Oops. Let's see. This... I've not been working on that in this map. I'm working on that blueprint in my blueprint map that I use for creating blueprints not in here so I that's why nothing has changed much in this map uh, what is weak here steel is why is why is steel weak oh it's all being gobbled up uh, did I put remote steel in here Yes, I have remote steel. Uh, you are yellow belt. Aha! Well, that could be a reason the steel is weak. Where's my belt upgrader? Let's make you red belts. And get more steel in here.
there, if I didn't miss anybody, that will boost steel. And that will boost the um, that'll boost everything in the factory that needs steel, obviously. So the sciences, and then these builds that I have going, uh, like rubble ports and stuff that need steel. So that'll boost that. Let me go up here and just give this one more look while I'm here. And steel is coming in from there, and you are all red. Yes. I don't have any red belt, but... Uh, in fact, red belt production. How slow are you? Red belt production. You could use... A speed up. Red belt production. Let's speed up red belt production, if I can. So, give me, give me this machine, like that, and you have enough iron plate to make gears, and you have gears backed up. What are you waiting on? You are not waiting on anything. Are you full? You are full. Ah, okay. Uh, well, give me some of those. If you have red belt to spare, I'll take some. And some of these. Yes. And some of these. Yes. There we go. That's better. Steel is red all the way down to there. Did that speed you up? Um, well, you're all running. How long does it take you to craft? You require 21 seconds, and you get three of them every 21 seconds. I could put some beacons down through there. Uh, there's no raw material issue. Are you still the weakest science? It appears as though you are. Yeah, give me a... Let's see, where's a beacon that has speed modules already in it? Do I have any of those lying around? Or have I not placed any beacons with speed modules in them? Let's see, where's my... No, you don't have any... You don't have any beacons either in you. Uh, let's see, so give me... Do I even have any beacons? Beacons are built over here, somewhere, not there, here, uh, let's make it a little bigger, up here, now speed modules, speed modules are up here, do we have module threes, yes we do, In fact, do I have productivity threes? I do. Okay, so give me... I didn't need you, did I? I did need you. Uh, let's see, let's put you up here. There. Now give me a beacon. Or ten. And let's put you here. And 
and give me these modules like that. That will speed that up. Productive, okay, yeah, I have productivity modules. Do I have productivity module threes in the labs? I have twos in the lab. Well, at least I have some in there. Well, here's some threes. There's some threes. that I just picked up. Oops, wrong place. There we go. And I'll take those. Productivity threes. One of the fat one of the is a fast I don't started to say one of the fastest ways you can speed up your base speed up your science is to put productivity modules in your labs that's like speeding up the whole factory it it uh, it's like giving you free science packs in your labs which is essentially like speeding up the whole factory now do you all get three you all have three now Yes, you all have threes. I'm looking at the modules, and those are all those are all module threes. Okay, so now I'll let it let it run for a while and uh, see. The yellows still have, can't keep up, although it looks like all the labs are working. Take these extra module threes. I haven't put them back down here, so I don't build more than I need. Module three. And then the twos, the twos can go in here. There you go, you can feed the twos out onto the conveyor to make more threes. And you guys could be the faster machines, maybe. Uh, I thought I picked up some of those faster machines. Did I not pick up? Oh yes, right there they are. You, oops, wrong key. You can be faster machines. Eh, you too. Faster machines for everybody. You don't need to be faster machines. I don't need any more of you, I don't think. So there, that's running better. Did I? Do I have more modules that I can get rid of? Uh, no. No, I do not. Oh, um, I put one more exoskeleton in my armor. Uh, no, I don't think I can fit more than that. What I've noticed now with all these exoskeletons, I was doing a lot of running around earlier. I can actually deplete the battery now. <laughs> I have so many exoskeletons. If I do a lot of running, I can deplete the battery. It now recharges fairly quickly with the with the reactor, but I don't have any uh, defensive weaponry now because I'm just doing building inside the base. So, but you can see I'm pretty quick. Well, that's about as that's, I think that's as fast as I can be. I don't think there's literally there's no more room in my armor for uh, for exoskeletons. These rubble ports are not going to get placed because there's no connection to the main network. So I'll need to put somewhere down through here a connection to the main network but everything else oh wait you're not built either are you missing there must be a missing one right there so what i've been doing is i've been putting blueprints and then kind of letting things run for a bit and then checking back like i'm doing now and like here you know something's obviously not not able to build that so what are you that you're not able to build that
So is there a rubble port missing? There is. Okay, there must have been a conflict in the blueprint. Yeah, this pole is in the way. So when I put that down there, that goes there. And there was that, that electric pole must have been in the way. Like that. There we go. Now the bots have access to the um, supplies and they can build the rest of that. In fact, they're building it now. Now, is it blueprinted in there? No, it's not. Well, there's some. Huh, that's weird. So part of it's blueprinted in and part of it isn't. Where's this column one? Let me finish blueprinting this in here. Now it's all blueprinted in. Let's verify that. Yeah, well, no, this is stops down here too. Give me this uh, single column one. So that goes there. Now, there may not be radar in there. Come on, buddies. Little buddies. There's no radar there. Okay, but there is radar there. Oh, and there's a gap. Tiny, tiny little gap in the build area. Give me a radar. And let's see. Where do you need to go? You need to go down here somewhere. Like right about here? No, a little bit lower. Right about here? Nope. There'll be a gap up there if I put you there. How about here? Like that. Okay, now that has radar everywhere. It's the brighter. You can tell because it's brighter. Oh, there's a tiny little gap. Oh, the rubble port got shifted over. Oh, and there's no connection there. Okay, I need to put a connection. That So these orange areas are not touching. This is an isolated network now because these orange areas are not touching anything else. So I don't want that. I want these to all be connected. So let's see. I want to go... I want to go... Um, well, this one's connected to the top. So I just need to connect this bottom one to something. Uh, maybe I could do that with one robot port. Let's see. If I did... Uh, Give me this. Can I do this with one rumble port? Would you connect? Yeah, yes, right here. Like that. That one, that one will connect those two together. Yeah, so now that's not an isolated network anymore. And then over here, give me the single column, this one. So I'm missing a few down here right here somewhere right there does that line up uh yes that is correct and that's that's the bottom because there's water down there the um the big blueprint rubble port area I know it's difficult to see it has landfill under all of the electric poles and the rubble port so it, you can actually place it on water you hold on shift it's like all the blueprints that I have that have landfill on them you um, hold on shift like here's some water maybe I could demonstrate with this one uh, you yeah, know this one so this so you can see if you look at this blueprint there's landfill Right under the so under the rubble port under the under the large electric pole there's landfill 
So with any of these blueprints where there's landfill, like here for example, there's water right right there is water. So I would do let's see where do I want to build this. Uh, well let's uh, let's build it right here. Let's extend this one down so that they're even at the bottom. So go over here. So I want to extend this column down, and there's water down here. Just to, so where this electric pole is next to my character, that's on water. And just so happens the ones below there are on land. But you just hold down shift, and that will place the blueprint for the landfill. And then you wait for the bots to place the landfill. And then you get your blueprint again and line it up. And now you can put the blueprint down and it'll blueprint in whatever was over the water. In this case, the electric pole. And then you can build on water. So it's a two-step process. Hold shift, put the blueprint that puts the landfill only, and then wait for the landfill to get built. And then uh, take the blueprint again and line it up. And then it'll actually put the items on the uh, that were that were placed. Now, this mod that I'm using is great for putting landfill under blueprints. Um, what is the name of that? What is the name of that mod? Settings, mod settings. I don't know what it is. Uh, landfill everything or something like that. Uh, it doesn't say. So you, I'll, I'll tell you here at the end of the video. I'll make sure I look it up to tell you. So you get your blueprint. Uh, like, where'd you go, blueprint? Well, let me make a blueprint. Let's make one. That's how I'll show you. So let's say I want, uh, oh, here we go, electric poles. I want some electric poles in a blueprint. So there's a blueprint. And you do, like, uh, you know, control C and drag across, and there's the blueprint. Okay, so you say create, and you name it, you name it, uh, you name it like, oops, unnamed blueprint. Click, name it, okay. large electric. I hope you can spell electric. Large electric, there you go. And put your description in there, and then create blueprint, and then put it in your inventory, like that. And then take it up, hold it, click on it, left click on it, out of your inventory, and hover over this icon up here, and click, and you put it back in your inventory. And now when you look at it, there's landfill under every item that was in the blueprint. So you can see there's landfill now under the electric pole. So intricately, you know, belts, uh, whatever, it'll put landfill under each item. And it only uses the landfill that's required to fill it in. So I'll, again, I'll look up the creator of this because you deserve credit. Very well done. Uh, mod. So I use that when I'm making these blueprints. If I, I try to remember to use it for everything. If you find one of my blueprints that doesn't have landfill under it, let me know. And then I'll correct it and put it out there. Okay, so that is... Oh, I need this column over here. Let's see. Where are you? Where was that? This one. Somewhere. Uh, yeah, here it is. Now this behavior where the bots are not building, um, like if I click the blueprint down there and they're building, and they're building, and they're not building. I'm standing right here, and they're not placing that RoboPort. That's a behavior that the bots do. It, that, that item got assigned to the base bots. A friend of mine created a mod called Tactical Construction. And uh, what that does is it gives you a button up here you can click on that will force your local bots to go out and build. So that's another one you might want to look at. Okay, see, it did it again. I'm trying not to play with a bunch of mods in my playthroughs. 
just you know for the people that are new um, to the game I would just want to demonstrate that you don't need a bunch of mods to to win the game are you all the way down to the bottom yeah so I, I generally run with very few mods and I don't like to use mods that that um, give you an unfair advantage I don't uh, what, what do they call it? quality of life mods those are fine you know things that make the game more fun to play without changing the way you play it yeah I have no problem with those I just don't really want to use mods that, that cheaty mods although <laughs> although I've got to say the cheaty mod that I do occasionally use yes I'll admit it is fast bots oh my gosh that will spoil you if you use fast bots mod and you go back to the the vanilla bots it's like uh, you don't want to play with them ever again <laughs> fast bots mod is it, it, it's a spoiler you know for sure okay so now is that okay there we go so now that is all filled in now i can use the new print that i and these don't line up you know of course of course they oh wait i got one there there's another column well they don't line up but i'll uh i'll use my new blueprint and complete filling in these robot columns and, and electric poles with my new print So they're not going to line up. Are, well, they don't line up. You can see they don't line up. This column down here does not line up with that column up there. So I, I'll start on the left here and make them line up. So there will be a couple that are close together, and then all the rest will line up. Which, you know, it's about the best I can do. How far does this go? Are you blueprinted all the way up here? Uh, apparently not. Apparently, you're only blueprinted up to there. Uh, you don't go below there either. Well, I'll, I'll want I'll want this to go down here. If I put you there, what does that do? Oh, it lands right on top of the stone mine. Okay. Oh, uh, well, what if I go to the side? Does that work? Like, like that? And then, like this? And then like this. And then give you some power like this. Now I've got the rubble ports lined up again. You don't have power though. Who is missing? Come on, bot. Hurry up. Who is missing? Somebody's missing. I see you. Oh, that's a rumble point that's missing. Still no power. Oh, all kinds of... All kinds of them are missing. All the way up through there. Now you have power. So, one... more down here. all the land area okay and then I need to go up here and this column is going to be close to the column over there but then I'll be on uh, 
Then I'll be on an even grid or whatever again. And I can just continue going with my new print where I can put the rest of those columns in there. Oh, trees, 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 trees. So there, and there, and there, and there, and oh, I've already blueprinted it in there. Okay, and like that. Let me through the trees. And where am I going? Am I going in the right place? Yes. Yeah, this is the one that's gonna wind up being close, but I can't do anything about that just has to be that way. Did I run out? I ran out. Okay. We'll let the bots place those. So there... Let's go there. Put the landfill in for me, please. Thank you. And there. All right, that'll give me that column like that. Um, I need to go up here, don't I? I need to continue this up here. Let's see, you are lined up with, you are lined up with nothing. You are lined up with the column below you, but that's all you are lined up with. Okay, so let's do that. And like that. that. Now, I think I can go to my new print and uh, use that and just fill in the rest of this. Just blueprint all the rest of this in there and let the bots fill in the, the columns of RoboPorts and Radar with that new blueprint. And if I start down here, you know, the, the issue with doing it is you don't want the bots to get stuck in a loop where they can't, where they can't build. I think if I start down here close to the to the base where the supplies are and uh, and use that blueprint I think that will it should be okay. I don't think they'll they'll get in a situation where they can't get the supplies they need to to finish building it. Something's blinking there. Something's not happy. It's probably a robo port which I don't have. Yeah. I don't have any of you but you are in, oh, you're not in the build area. You are. Yeah, so that RoboPort that's blinking uh, is in the, oh, but that's not connected. Ah, okay. So see these, this orange column? This orange column is a separate network. It's not connected over here to the, to the base. So I need to connect these because that would never get placed. The, the, um, the bots would never be able to gain access to that and build with it. So I need a robo port in here somewhere. So I'll pull a robo port here. Uh, let's see, like right here, maybe let's sign you up with this electric pole. And then give you some power. Like that. So when the bots place that one, that will connect that column to the main network. 
and then they should be able to continue building up through there uh, by because it, they'll have access to the supplies then that are in the base so then how am i doing that time oh okay i'm fine i'm fine so then give me uh that new blueprint well part area so now if i go down let's see let's start down here at the bottom Uh, start at the bottom or start at the top? Um, the top kind of the top kind of jogs up there. Uh, let's start at the top. Oops. Fingers on the correct keys, please. Let's start at the top. I have to be standing up there. Because there's no radar everywhere yet. I have to be standing up here so I can see it in the map view. Let's go. Hmm. I don't like that little. I don't like that little stair step in my wall. I could take that top wall all the way across. But let's just let's do that later. So I can do. Um, how high up can I go in this column? Right there. The next one can go up there. Let's see if I if I put you here, like at that height. Where does that line up? Like that? Or like that? No, let's go up here like this. Let's go right there. And let's build there. Okay, and then I'm going to get rid of this one. get that in the right place did I get you in the right place uh, robo part area so are you gonna build Looking at the little square there. That one's lined up there. Here, let's do this. Let's go there. Like that. Oh, I can't see it. Uh, that's why there's no... So that was about there. Yeah, that's going to be there. So let's go there. Like that. Okay. So that'll get me started in the right place with my new print. And I'll grow down from that point using this new blueprint and let the bots fill that in. And then this one uh, has radar everywhere. So as they place it, as they place the items in this print, I'll be able to see it from map view because right now there's no radar. I can't see it there. But as they place the radars that I just blueprinted in there, then I will be able to see it. So there's a radar there. And then over here on this corner, which is not built yet, there's a radar over there as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this blueprint that I created, this radar, this um, robo port area. 
and not that one. This one. Oop, this one. Roll apart area. And fill this in. And then let the bots build all of that. And then there will be this same columns everywhere, but then it'll make sure it'll, it, I will make sure it has or the blueprint will make sure it has radar coverage everywhere so that I can zoom in from space. Speaking of which, there's no radar over here. Here, I have a radar. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And that, that blueprint is up there on the website right now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on that thumbs up button. I would appreciate it very much. Take care. Have fun playing. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.